Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. When somebody's really skeptical, they might be called a doubting Thomas. The term refers, of course, to the disciple who wasn't present when Jesus first appeared to his disciples after the resurrection. And Thomas said that unless he placed his own finger in the wounds left over from the crucifixion, he would not believe that his master was raised from the dead. But there's more to Thomas than doubting. Long before they had convinced the Romans to crucify Jesus, the Jews themselves tried to stone Jesus at least a couple times. Jesus explained to his disciples that one day the Jews would succeed. He would voluntarily suffer, be killed, and rise again after three days. Peter's reaction, though, was understandable. He pulled Jesus aside privately and told him, God forbid it, Lord, this shall never happen to you. Jesus rebuked him for not going along with God's plan. As the time came closer for his entry into Jerusalem, also known as Palm Sunday or the Triumphal Entry, Jesus announced to his disciples that he was heading to Judea. They didn't know that Jesus would first raise Lazarus from the dead, which would bring things to a head with the opposition. The disciples did know enough to object. Rabbi, they said, only a few days ago the people in Judea were trying to stone you. Are you going there again? And here's where we come back to Thomas. The disciples' usual spokesman, Peter, said nothing at this point, but Thomas took the lead and said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, so that we may die with him. The Bible never calls him Doubting Thomas, so why not call him Loyal Thomas? Lord, if we're going to find labels for people, help us to find the positive things in their life for which they are known. And when we're tempted to back off from following Jesus' example of self-sacrifice, Give us the determination of loyal Thomas to stay with him, whatever the cost. Amen.